Hello guys, welcome back. Continuing from the last video where we were trying to connect or trying to work with Google BigQuery using the Google Collab Notebook. If you are new to this video, just go through the previous video in order to understand about the authentication process. The first thing that we should do after the authentication process is importing the BigQuery module. So from google.cloud import BigQuery. So this is nothing but a part of the broader Google Cloud library. Fine. So let us run this. As a next step, we need to create a local variable called project ID. From your Google BigQuery console, just copy the project ID and assign it to the local variable. OK, let us try to run this. Nextly, we need to set another local variable and this is called as a client. So here I'm just project equal to project ID. So this method is uh, available to us from the BigQuery library. So what it actually does is it creates a client object for us or a way of interacting with the BigQuery using Python program. So we are passing the project ID into the BigQuery client. Let us try to execute it. So a client is created for us. We can actually see that an object that is a Python object is written to us and it's actually a Google Cloud object. Now that we have the client, so we can do different operations with that, like executing the query and so on. So this is the global superstore uh, data set. In order to preview, if you see here, we have the shipping mode. If you want to understand what are the different shipping modes which are available, then just give ship mode a variable. A new variable is created called ship mode. OK, and we are invoking the client dot Let us try to run a query in that. So we can just copy this query from the console. Different ship modes which are available in this global superstore table. So I'm copying it here and you can just directly paste it over there. So when we execute this client object we have just uh, created, we'll pass the select statement, this select statement to the BigQuery. So BigQuery will create a job and execute the statements and collect the result and basically keep track of those. And that will return a pointer back to the job so that we can get the results later. So once we have executed, we will try to run this ship mode. This is nothing but a query job object. Okay. A query job is a data structure which has information about the job that was run in the BigQuery to get the result. So it's not the result itself. It's really the information about the job. So how that job ran, what are the results of the job were. Now in Python, when we work with things like list and arrays and other data structures where there are multiple items that we work with, we often work with something called as an iterator, right? And again, this is very Python like an idea. So my result set from the query job is very Python like a kind of a data structure. And so the results would work in a very Python way and often we use the iterator to retrieve the data. OK, so in order to loop through each of these values which are returned, we'll just try to perform this for every R in ship mode. OK. Dot result. OK, we will just print R. We'll run this. So you can see the different uh, shipping modes which are available. And this is the column name called as the ship mode, which contains the values of first class, standard class, same day and the second class. OK. Hope you got an idea on how to uh, interact with or how to connect from uh, Google Collab to the BigQuery platform and perform some operations from uh, Google Collab using Python. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.